past five years has been particularly difficult for human rights activists working on the North Korean issue because after the publication of the Commission of Inquiry report in 2014, um, basically everybody now knows that the human rights situation in North Korea is very dire. Nobody is going to um, deny that and it's almost old news now. That's brought in, I think, opportunities and challenges and one an opportunity i guess is that we no, no longer need to spend the time trying to convince people that what is going on is terrible and needs addressing because an independent body did the investigation for us it wasn't you know a south korean organization with political motives it was a completely independent investigative body and that was um, published by the United Nations and with very, very detailed findings. Because of that, it's opened up the conversation for different avenues in which we can work on North Korean human rights. Because of that, we are now able to talk about accountability a lot more. We're able to talk about um, taking the case to the International Crim Criminal Court in the Netherlands, um, different ways in which we can engage North Korea or seek accountability. That being said, it is a bit, there are different challenges that come with that. One is people are always kind of looking for shiny new ways of shiny new takes on North Korean human rights. But, and if we tell them what had happened, what has continued to happen, you know, political prison camps are still there, executions still take place, forced repatriation still take place. People, especially I think journalists, take it as old news. Um, and I think that's something that's very unfortunate because it's not old news to, to us and it's not old news to the people living in North Korea. It's something that they have to go through every day, but just because it's not newsworthy, people tend to report on it less and they try to, to then take Sometimes they get more exaggerated forms of um, testimonies, which then plays into kind of North Korea's, the North Korean government's favor, in which they, you know, paint information providers, North Korean defectors, in a negative light. I think a very difficult kind of community has grown from, you know, North Korean defectors being pushed to provide testimonies in a certain way. But I think the North Korean government is, has also understood the power of what the COI report has published, which has kind of made, kind of made it difficult for us as well, because they were aware that the COI report was published based on testimonies from North Koreans who left the country. And so, in order to stop more information coming out, they you know, have cracked down on the borders, have made it much more difficult for people to defect, which has made it difficult for us in the community to gather more information on North Korean human rights and to then give that to the wider international community. Um, and so a new, kind of a new strategy that we've started to take is um, trying to give more of a platform to North Koreans themselves who want to share their story of not always kind of the grossest human rights violations, but just of their daily lives in which human rights violations can take place. And I think that's um, helpful in two ways because one, it helps you know, your average person to understand what it what is going on a lot more because it's hard to under, hard to imagine a public execution taking place when the average you know western as western person hasn't even seen you know a corpse before like hard to imagine a lot of the stories in which we used to convey to the international community so giving the platform for everyday stories is something a new take that we've we've started to do and it also helps the North Koreans themselves kind of take ownership of their narrative and also it I think because they didn't receive like a human rights based education while they were in North Korea they're also able to understand what they went through and how um, they you know can take 
take ownership of what what story that they they're giving. Um, but it's I mean it's hard beca because it's people are almost kind of kind of sick of hearing about what's going on in North Korean human rights. Um, and there are only so many ways in which you can be creative with the same issue. And it's not something we want to take lightly either. Um, it's not you know, a new marketing tool. It's not a new way to brand, rebrand something. It affects the lives of people. Um, it's a constant thing we have on our mind at NKDB of how can we um, continue to remind people and continue to, people, to keep people interested in the issue.